hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be explaining how i made this cute colored shirt now i know it's not summer season but in nigeria where i live it is always summer season so i hope this video will be useful to you whenever and wherever so the first thing you need to do is to get a piece of paper that is right enough to take up your measurement so i'll be making use of a short length of 12 inches because i want it to be very very short i don't want it to be too long so i'm just marking my short length all over and i'm going to use my ruler to connect the dots together and the next thing i'll be doing is to measure my hip line the regular or standard hip line you could use is nine inches but since i'll be joining a band up i added half inches to make it nine and a half so i'll also use my ruler to connect the lines together and finally what makes it different from a skirt pattern is that we get to use the crotch line now I may, I'm using a crotch line of 11 inches you don't have to use 11 inches you could use something lesser or something higher depending on your size but I wear a size 6 or size 8 and I wanted it to be very free that is why I'm using a crotch of um, 11 inches now I'm going to connect the dots together like so and since the shirt is really really short I don't need to draw a tie line if you need me to make a regular trouser pattern you could just comment below and let me know whether to make a video or not so back to this tutorial i've labeled all of my lines my waistline my hip line my crotch line and my full length now the only measurement to be making use of here is your hip measurement divided by four and my hip is 36 this divided by four is nine so i'm marking nine all the way from my waist length to my crotch line and i'm drawing i'm connecting the dots together like so now to extend your crotch that nine inches i got i'm going to divide it by four again now what that gave me was about two one quarter two and a half so that two and a half i'm going to be placing it on that point and extending my crotch like so so now the crotch line is the dot on the crotch line is longer than what you have on other lines now the next thing we need to do is to draw a curve like the regular curve you see on your pants and to do that we are going to make use of one and a half inch to get the curve right if you have a french curve you could use yours but i like using my free and so that is what you need to get next we'll be measuring what we have on the crotch line totally and dividing what you have by two this is necessary because you need to get the middle of your pants for all of you that like putting gators in your pants this is how the ghetto is gotten so now i got nine of oh, sorry but either ways using your body measurements this is what you should do and I'm connecting all of it with a dashed line like so so that will be the middle of my pants so whenever I wear it my pants won't be shifting to one side or shifting to the other side so yeah middle of my pants next up I would be using my tie line here my tie is 22 inches so 22 divided by 2 that's 11 now because i want the pants to sit properly i'll divide that 11 again by two which is five and a half so i'll be placing five and a half on that middle line that we got and marking my 11 inches like so does it make sense i hope it does next i'll connect wherever i have to connect i'm connecting the other side to the hip you know we already measured our hip we're not adding any measurements of we're not adding any sewing allowance to the epa we'll be making we adding all of our allowances <laughs> at the back of our pants now my waist is 26 inches which is very very small so i am adding an allowance of one inch after i divided it by four and connecting it to my hip like so you can also follow this measurement because most times when i don't add one inch i always find out that my waist becomes smaller so to become on the safer side i like adding one inch allowance only to the waist next because of the shorts as like a fly zipper kind of design we'll be adding a sewing allowance of three inches to the crotch area and connecting the lines but since we can't connect it all the way down i'll just draw this curve to you know make it simpler then i'll cut it up and prepare for the back pattern
now to cut the back pattern what we need to do is to get a wider piece of paper then place our front piece in the middle of the new paper that we have make sure you have about two inches around your um front piece like two inches to the side and more than two inches upward so next thing to do is to mark a sewing allowance of one and a half all around your front piece now you are make you are marking it on the paper you've prepared for your back pattern then you connect the lines like so then the next thing you need to do is to measure the distance between your middle pants middle of the pants and your crotch line so what i got was about three one quarter inches i'm going to be dividing by that by two and marking what i got on paper like so now on that line you place your tape one inch upward on your back piece and you'll be marking one inch on your back piece and drawing the line like connecting it just the way it did now you take your ruler and connect what you have from that point to this point <laughs> then you can it's it has to be a slanting line and the reason why we actually extended our pants upward by one inch is because of our butts you know the back piece of your pants has to be a lot wider to accommodate your butts the next thing we need to do is to draw the crotch line for the back piece that will be totally different from what we did on the front piece and to get that your crotch line on your front piece you'll be coming down by half inch you'll be marking that half inch on your back piece like so then you extend it forward by two inches that is what you'll be doing now we need to connect those dots we've marked in a c pattern now to do that that intersection that we got on our front piece i'm going to be marking until i can get a stain of it on my back piece paper now after I did that, I placed 2 inches on that tiny dot and made a marking upward. Now I am going to connect all of the dots I have together to form a big crotch. Also, to, also you need to add like 1.5 inch at your thigh area. Remember my shirt is very short. That is why uh, my tie and my crotch line was that close yours could be longer and it's be different so now i have connected all the lines together and voila i've gotten my back piece now i'll be adding a sewing allowance of one inch by the crotch line you know to sew it i won't be adding the zipper to the back so it's just going to be one inch allowance now collect all of my lines together and cut it up and prepare for sewing Now the thing you need to know about making a short pattern is that you don't make the front piece or the back piece first. What you need to do is either make your left side first or the right side first. Now I have taken a piece of my front piece and a piece of my back piece meant for just one side and I'm pinning the sides together. Note that the part I'm pinning is the hip part, the part where the hip is not the crotch part. I'll be sewing it by one inch allowance. You could actually make yours half inch in case you don't mind. 
and I'm doing that to the left side of my pants also so I'll be sewing the right side of my shirt and the left side of my shirt by one inch after I do that I would come back to you Now that I've sewn the respective front and back piece together, I would be measuring what I have on the waistline and this is to know how many inches I would be needing for the uh, material I'll be gathering on the shorts. So I'm measuring my waist and what I got was about 18 inches. I got 18.5 inches now i am measuring the second part to make sure what i have is the same and yeah i also got 18.5 inches now i'll be putting these two pieces aside and taking the remaining fabric i have to cut what i need for the gathering now the length of this new piece has to be longer than what you used for your original shorts Remember my original shorts was about 12 inches, so I'm going to make my 13 inches. Then your width, how wide you want it to be, it has to be either times 2 of your original waist, like the waist you cover when you measure the shorts now, or times 3. I wanted mine to be very full, so I made it 18.5 times 3, and that is what I'm going to be using to cut the long pieces. Oh, I already cut it, so yeah, that's, that's the long piece. And you're cutting two for the left side you're cutting two each one for the right side of your pants and one for the left side of your pants now i would be taking a long piece and folding it into two to get the middle because whenever i gather i don't use a gathering stitch i do my own gathering with my hands because i find it faster you could use a gathering stitch for yours anyone that works for you actually so i notch the middle of the longer piece and now i am notching the middle of my shorts i'm notching the waist it is the waist i am notching now those two points i notched i'm going to pin both of them together this would make this this is necessary because i want the gathering to be even you know there are times that you gather and one part seems to appear fuller than the other part now to avoid that i am doing this basically next i am placing um, my back my back piece on the piece i just cut because we need to like we cut the crotch area i know you can barely see what i'm doing because of the material but yeah you get it i'm just cutting it out to make sure the crotch is also on the new piece of material i i just cut now you need to pin everything in place pin both materials together so one doesn't shift or what doesn't disturb you from doing whatever it is you want to do after i pin that i would go to the front area to place my longer fabric down like so then place the front piece of my short like so and we cut the crotch area too so now that i have everything even i'm going to pin everything in place and proceed to the next step next step will be to gather the excess material into my shorts now i'll be doing that off camera to make this video shorter now after i gathered it this is what it looks like it's actually looking very very cute yeah this is like i think this is the left side of my pants then i also did the same for the right side of my pants now i'm going to show you something at in on, in the crotch line the crotch area of your front piece you need to leave about four inches because that four inches would be going inside for your zip so you're not gathering four inches i'm going to leave a space of four inches before you start your gathering i hope what i'm saying makes sense if it doesn't let me know in the comment section so i'll know how to explain it better now we need to aim the bottom part of our shirt you are going to aim it half on half inch i didn't leave much allowance here because the fabric i had wasn't enough so half on half 
for the original shot and half on half for the piece that you gathered on top. We'll be doing that for the left side of our shorts and the right side of our shorts. As you can see, I have aimed mine, so I will be showing you the next process. The next thing I need to do is to pin um, <clears throat> my pieces together just to pin them in place because now we are going to be sewing the crotch areas of the left side and the right side together. So I'm just pinning them to make sure I don't have any difficulty while sewing.
now that we've sewn the back crotch together and the front crotch with our zipper the next thing we need to do is to close down the bottom part now because my shirt is very very short uh what i have on both crotch areas are actually different one is wider than the other one but yours might not end up being like this so what you need to do is just pin both of them together like so middle to middle parts just pin it in a way that you'll be able to sew it you'll be sewing it with half inch so i'm just pinning mine then i'll take it to my machine and sew it with half inch and i'll come back to show you how it looks like now this is what it looks like the last thing we need to do is to cut our band now for that so you need to measure the waist measurements you have on your shirt now measuring mine and i got um 26 inches remember my waist is 26 but for the band i'm going to add in two inches allowance just in case something goes wrong and the band is not enough remember you can always chop off the excess in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till i suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days 
So there we have it, we've made this beautiful shirt. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you understood it and if you did, please um, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to like and subscribe, put on your notification bell so you don't miss any new video I drop. Thank you for watching, see my next video, bye.